Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this new harvesting set that came out um, for John Deere made by Ertl. I was in a dealership this morning up near Louisville. We were traveling back from something. Swung in a dealership and saw this, so had to pick it up. I haven't seen one yet. I knew they were coming out with them and I wanted to be able to do a review and take a look at it. So first this set comes with a 45 55 tractor, a 500 grain cart, and also the 7720 combine with two heads, as you can see here. I want to point out on the box, it's your 45 55 tractor. A nice picture, it looks like from back in the day. Here would be the grain cart, picture of that. And then my favorite picture on here, pretty cool picture of the combine. Um, I wonder if they got this from the original sales literature. That's kind of what it looks like, but I don't know for sure. So let's get this thing unboxed and take a look at what we got here. take a look at the tractor first so we got this 45-55 it's got the front wheel assist duals on the rear pretty nice looking sound guard tractor steering wheel looks good the interior is kind of basic but it is you know, nothing to complain about. Headlight, sticker, decals, pretty clear, pretty crisp. Well, I can't talk. Pretty crisp and clean and clear. Um, some good engine detail on the casting. I like the way that's painted there. As well as on this side, you got your steps. You got lights on the fenders here. You know, not a whole lot going on. I wish they would have had the lights painted on the cab roof because I know that those come painted on a lot of the Soundguard toys. Or I shouldn't say a lot, but on some of them they paint them, some of them they don't. I don't understand why they do and don't on some. Uh, this is the same casting as another tractor in our collection. We do have a 4755, so the bigger brother to this tractor. And, um, you know, they're going to be the same casting, same toy. We got this one in... Some sort of a set at one point. Um, cannot remember exactly what what set that would have been. But if you have a 4755, you're basically getting the same tractor here with a different sticker. Next thing, got the John Deere 500 grain cart. These have been in several sets over the years. This casting's been around for a long time. Uh, more recently, I think we got like a 4440 or 4450 with this grain cart a few years back. We got that set somewhere laying around here. But as always with this cart, they do phenomenal with the decals. I love the old John Deere decals. They make them pop on this grain cart. John Deere 500. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the tires, but they're all right. The um, kind of more of like almost a turf tire look to them. Uh, the casting, like I said, it's not a new casting. It's an older casting, so it's not super fancy but it does have some detail to it and our auger does pivot and lock into place right there so that is nice and the auger is pretty see if i can hold still enough pretty good detail they do put the opening in the top there and it looks pretty good hooked up behind our uh 4555 right there 
And next, probably the thing I'm most excited about in this whole set is our Turbo 7720 Combine. I did not realize it had duels until I took it out of the package. I thought it would just have singles. I am excited to see that it has duels. It's pretty cool. This is the hydrostatic um, version of this combine, so it would have been more expensive in real life. I think it would have had more horsepower. I could be wrong. Uh, nice clear windows. We do have a windshield wiper painted on there. Good John Deere decals. Good hydrostatic decal. So you got platform here. Um, feeder house, not a ton of detail there. And I'm, I'm sure they're recycling the old casting with this as well. I don't think this set, nothing in this set is from a new casting. But I'm, like I said, I'm not complaining. Uh, interior, the steering wheel and the steering wheel column are a little goofy looking. If you look at it, real plasticky and huge looking. Kind of goofy looking. The seat also a little bit goofy looking. But we do have some foot pedals down here. Um, also a little enlarged looking. But overall, you know, can't complain too much. The windows, I do think they did a good job on the cab with the windows. And the trim around the windows and the windshield wiper. Nice big door there. Um, you got a little platform here. Obviously no handrails. They kind of got some handrails on your steps. But your steps are plastic. Um, you know, not super detailed, but you do get the steps. We've got some detail in here. That is nice to see. I love the Turbo 7720 decal. It looks good. Good John Deere decal. Our auger does come out. And um, let's see. Passes the grain cart clearance test, so that is good. It clears the grain cart with plenty of room. So good to see that. No issue there. On the rear here, we've got um, our rear axle does oscillate a little bit. It doesn't steer, but it does oscillate. We do have the rear wheel assist on this combine. You can see with the, um, the way the tread is facing. So if you wanted a two-wheel drive combine, you could just pop those tires off, flip them around backwards, make a combine two-wheel drive. We do have the, um, well, that's broke. Well, that's fun. Uh, we're supposed to have two of these, as you saw. Oh, that one was just barely dangling on when I touched it. fell off. I'll have to glue this. But what's supposed to spin around and knock your chaff and spread it. Um, dangling down there. We have our slow-moving vehicle triangle, which looks to be impeded by this big guard. Something looks funky here. I don't know if this whole piece of plastic was supposed to be lower or if that triangle was supposed to be higher. Um, but I think our toy is a little bit funky in the back end here. And this does look a little oversized, I guess, because it's plastic. They got to do that for safety toy reasons. But uh, good John Deere decal on the rear end there. That looks good. Like I said, I'm not, I don't know. I'll have to glue this on here, but it still looks a little, a little goofy to me. Uh, nice ladder. I love this ladder here. It's a well done ladder going up to the top. And we've got decent detail around the side. They covered the rivet there. I'm glad they did that. Makes the toy look way better. Uh, on the inside, we do have pretty good detail in here as well. I think that's new er for the casting out like the originals back in the toys that were made back in like the 90s or whatever had that interior good detail there um, our air breather is a little bent but I'm sure that could be straightened up we got our fan over here so right there and like I said, we do have duels. I'm glad we have duels. I've never really cared for these Ertl tires. I put them on some of the older tractors like 4020s and 5020s. I'm not the biggest fan of these tires. I, I might swap these tires out for something. But I do like that it has duels. 
and I will probably continue to keep duels on it, but I may put some that I think look a little better on that machine. All right, on to the corn head. We do have a six row. Let's see if we can see 60, 643, six row head. Um, the head looks really nice, honestly. It is a little plastic looking, but that's to be expected. I love that they got the, the model number decal stickers because a lot of the newer toys, they don't do that. But I think they've started doing it again on some of the X9s. But some of the combines, they don't put that on there. Let's see how it looks on the machine. There we go. Looks pretty good. Um, you know, the tires fit behind the header. It's got a pretty good look. Can't complain about that. I like this head. Something about smaller heads I do like when we get some toys of them. Next is a Draper. The 216 platform. Um, I'm not sure if this would be technically, I don't know if that's supposed to be a 16 foot platform or if it's supposed to be 20 foot. Uh, do not know. I think it's a 20 foot platform just by guessing. It's the size of a six row head. I think that would be right. Um, the reel does look pretty good. You can see the detail. Let's see if we can get it up here. Now you can see the detail of that reel. Looks up pretty decent. Um, and then the rest of the platform looks all right. You got your auger in there and your teeth down there that cut it. Now the back looks okay too. No complaints here. Let's see what it looks like on the machine. Oh, I knocked the reel off. The reel just snaps on and off real easy. There's our reel on there. And now as I'm kind of thinking about it and looking at it, this is definitely a 16 foot platform draper, um, not a 20. I guess that makes sense that's a 216 because if it's six rows be 16 foot because I think eight rows would be 20 foot so yeah that's a 16 foot header for this machine and it's a pretty good little set so um, I think you're gonna be looking at spending right around 35 36 dollars plus tax to get this maybe pay shipping to have it shipped but realistically out the door you're looking at a $40 set if you buy it at a dealership which isn't bad I guess considering you get a combine a tractor and a grain cart and I did didn't mention this does have the yellow roof on the combine some of the older combines I guess before this one would have had green roofs um, pretty good looking set so if you like older toys, or older machines, I guess, um, it is a nice set. So that's what it's got in it. Hope this helps you out if you were interested in, interested in this set. Go ahead and give our video a like if you could, and subscribe to our channel. Really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. Hopefully we'll hit it in the next week or so. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all you do. Have a good day.